hello guys good afternoon this is life issue and this is blessing thank you so much for coming to my channel on this channel we talk about trending viral news marriage parenting lifestyle and political issues we bring it up for discussion this afternoon i want us to talk about molestation and abuse now some people don't even understand what abuse or molestation is and it is mind-blowing when you see people's reaction or comments on social media about this particular issue so we are going to be using for our base of discussion the video that was released yesterday of the girl traveling from abuja to akure if you've not seen that video, I'm going to be showing just a little clip. If you want to watch the whole video, you need to go to my Instagram. So let me give you a background to this story before I play the video and I show you what people are commenting and then we'll have a reflection on it. So this girl was in a car or bus going from Abuja to Akure while she was in that bus a, an old man sitting next to her started touching her body it was alleged by her brother that she screamed and asked for help but the people with her on that journey inside that bus actually shut her down and said that she was overreacting on the course of their journey they were they stopped at a checking point and she actually told the many people that stopped them that she was being molested but they still did not believe her because the older man spoke in Aosa and they allowed them to continue on their journey so she spoken out nobody believed her she's gone to the security where she thinks that she will be head they still did not believe her the only thing she was left to do was to bring out her, vid her phone and make a video of what was happening to her. Now, there have been a lot of reaction to her video. Some people are accusing her of wanting to clot. Some people believe her story. But let's, for a moment, ask ourselves a question. In our society, how many times do we as a society believe the victim of molestation abuse or rape how many times as a society have the police or even the family of the victim actually sided them what we see or what happens in our society is the victim is always shush the victim is always told not to tarnish the family name and even when they go to the police, the police will always have a way of making the victim becomes the person that actually enabled what happened to her. Why am I saying this? I'm going to show you comments of people who are actually busy trying to point at the girl for the reason for what happened. Some of the comments are very disgusting. They are actually showing the level of the decay in our society on the fact that we have not actually in any way moved forward. Now, can you watch this video? Then read the comments of the people who are still accusing the victim of molestation, of chasing clots, and actually saying that she might be enjoying what was happening to her. Please watch this and then read a comment. Thank you. You see, when I was reading some of these comments, my body was really shaking. I was wondering, when will the voice of the girl child be heard? 
when will women be believed? Why can't we look beyond the body, beyond the dress? Why will anybody be enjoying being molested? Being, being not believed by fellow passenger. This girl must have been traumatized. Remember, she is traveling from Abuja to Akure, and that particular route happens to have a lot of Boko Haram attack, a lot of kidnapping. So what do you think will be going on in the mind of this girl at that time when people in the same bus with her did not believe her? Instead of was to rise up and call for the head, I mean, call for this person who did this to this woman, to be brought to book we are busy pointing finger at her dress and saying that she must have enjoyed being molested what a country what a nation why are we still pointing finger at the woman when i was going through the comments and you know different reaction to this story i was shocked by this particular person's comment let me say something i'm going to say it's very clear when someone is drunk whether a man or a woman they are actually out of control of their senses when you sleep with someone who is drunk you are committing an offense because the person is believed not to have the mental capacity to say yes or no in the western world is automatically rape so even if a girl went home with you after club or after party she is drunk she is not in the mental state she's not in any way able to say yes or no why would you want to sleep with a drunk woman why she's not your girlfriend is somebody that you picked up or somebody that just came back with you i mean am i saying it's okay for a woman to go home with somebody they don't know no it isn't but let's talk about reality it happens people do it but is that enough excuse for you to sleep with her because she's drunk come on even a layman knows it is rape so why would someone who calls himself only of abuja be encouraging or talking about this and now laying the blame on the female child again is the woman's fault the man cannot be sensible the man cannot hold their body it is the woman's fault you see there's so many comments and i thank god that some people actually are understanding the situation some nigerians are getting to know that molestation is molestation it does not matter and i love the beautiful comments that are coming from people who actually had time to reason and this brings me to the case of owa i mean that was a sad case that happened on saturday the girl went to read for her exam i see this story also points to the fact that our society is warped. Why would she be reading in the first place? Schools are on lockdown. Why are lecturers putting children in intense situation or threatening them that once school reopens without them teaching, the children are about to start having um, start their exams? Where will where does such thing happen? You haven't taught them. But you are busy. I've seen some lecturers on Twitter threatening their, their students, telling them once school starts, be ready for exam. And I'm like, why would you want to do that to these children? They are home, already afraid of coronavirus. Some of them have, some of them might have had people close to them who are already dead of this coronavirus. And now you are threatening them. See what you have. Because she should not have been in that church in the first place if she wasn't afraid of. Um, fell in her exam a year one student for that matter she went to that church because she wanted to pass an exam thank god the police already have a suspect in their book but this life could not have been wasted 
if lecturers understand that their place is not to threaten children, is their place is not to make education very hard. Their place is to help children learn. Why is our society this way? It's also bothering that with how close this church is to other buildings, to a pathway where people walk, and this thing happened, blood daylight, that nobody had her scream. Or did they hear her? And like all these people supporting this molestation, also think that she was having fun, she was enjoying herself. I don't know what happened. I cannot tell what happened. But the point remains that our society, we are still not opening our eyes to the fact that there are a lot of issues happening to women until we stop thinking that they actually want it they are actually saying yes when they are saying no until we start understanding that abuse molestation rape is a crime until the security outfits in our society start taking this issue serious always keep having issues like this but enough is enough please guys if you can the picture of the man that did this to this woman is on my instagram is here please if you know this guy call any of the activists that you know send this to the police this man needs to be brought to book we cannot let him treat people this way we've heard story of people who enter night bus and they are raped or they are molested and nothing happened to them but thank god that this woman was very smart and she actually filmed what was happening so this person can be brought to book thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the red button so that you can subscribe what do you guys think about this story has anything like this ever happened to you are the people that are supporting what happened to this girl are they right is it her fault does it mean that wearing and i don't even think that she's wearing a short dress i think her dress the length of her dress is okay but even if she's wearing a short dress does that give a man the right to molest another person you answer i've just given you my own reflection and i think no matter whatever even if i'm naked you that that does not give you the right to molest me or abuse me or to rape me no it, it doesn't all right guys that's my take on this story it's still ongoing we're still waiting for this man to be arrested please help us push the story as far as you can god bless you